Families in Oxford continue their push for answers after November's deadly school shooting at the high school. It was a packed school board meeting last night. For months, parents and students have been demanding to know more about the investigation as well as the plans to improve security at the school. And they did get some answers, but the board says an independent review of the shooting will not be conducted until all criminal and civil litigation is over. The district is also refusing the attorney general Dana Nessel's offer to investigate. It was also revealed the district is looking at providing a three year recovery plan with a focus on security, safety and mental health. That plan is going to be completed over the summer, but the district says that it's already increased security at every level. It's added security cameras and will be running two pilot programs that will help detect threats. Families also heard from a security expert who says that there are some things to improve. Jason Russell from Secure Education Consultants joins us now live this morning to talk more about his findings. Thanks for being with us here this morning. Thanks for having me. Okay, so uh, let's start. What, what were some of the biggest concerns that you saw from your findings? I think every school has issues they need to resolve. So a big portion of what we were doing was just trying to find any gaps or weaknesses or opportunities for improvement. So we definitely saw some communication abilities that could be improved. Uh, we, we looked at focusing in on their training in different areas and threat assessment, things like that. And then obviously we also improved some of the technologies they have as well. Now, as far as some of the comments that we heard from the students at that school board meeting, how heavily does that weigh on any recommendations that you might have for the district in terms of safety and making sure that the students are not just safe, but that they feel safe as well? Yeah, I mean, and as I said, you know, my, my kids don't go to this school, but I am a parent. So that, you know, that's a big part of, of why I do what I do. So it's not only ensuring that we are safer, but that we feel safer. And I think that's the, the area that we're going to focus on really heavily is, you know, getting that perception of safety built up so that kids do feel safe, because that's important, obviously, for every parent, every kid to feel safe when they go into their school in the morning. Right, absolutely. Um, as far as where the district can improve, what were your recommendations? What does your review find? You know, we looked at obviously increasing technology. There's a lot of new security technology and it evolves over time. So we, we did add some weapon detection technology in a couple of different areas. We're piloting some programs to just take that to another level and really, you know, probably not something that's typical in schools, but I think in this use case, we decided that we needed to probably go way above or beyond what's normally seen in a school environment. Right. Um, the attorney general was very um, outspoken about having an investigation done from her organization, from her department, but that was declined by the school district. Do you have any, any insight as to why that was their decision? You know, that wasn't uh, the, the incident wasn't within the scope of what we're reviewing. And obviously, I think if you refer back to what the board said yesterday, they're they're looking to make sure that all the criminal investigations and all the litigation is completed. And really a third party investigation would be hampered by any of the existing investigations that are going on because you just don't have access to all the information yet. Gotcha. And finally, before we let you go, I do want to talk a little bit about metal detectors. We see a number of schools here in the Detroit Public Schools Community District have metal detectors, but there are none at Oxford High School. Um, and we wanted to know if that's part of your findings, if that is something that could be implemented into the school there or schools in that district in the future. Yeah, I mean, we always look at every school as an individual entity and determine what's appropriate for that school. And metal detectors is certainly a technology that, that is present in some schools. Some of the technology that we're looking at for the school is similar to that. It's more on the weapon detection side, so it's a, a lot more free flow, so you don't have to take everything out of your pockets. And that's one of the pilot programs that we're looking to run there. So it wouldn't be a traditional metal detector but actually be more of a specific for weapons. Okay, so something like that could be very beneficial uh, to when it comes to safety. Thank you so much for joining us this morning and for providing a little bit of insight as to your security review there at the school. Thank you.